everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStampIt.blogspot.com and I have a K and Company patterned card little pad here and I've chosen this piece of paper. I love it. So we're going to just take this, bone fold it, and get to work on making a pretty card here. What I've done is I've taken this scalloped edge. This was actually just a regular piece of uh, rectangle cardstock. And I went and took the treading waters, and you guys have seen me do that, where you flip it upside down and then go along the, the line there and get it exactly where you want it to be. So I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go and put it here. But before I do, I found this cute little polka dotted ribbon. This ribbon was from the Paper Zone. This is when I was doing demonstrations for the Paper Zone. And this was from one of their dollar ribbons. So really cheap ribbon, and I just think it's too cute. So let's go ahead and put that here. I didn't leave much room on the other side to put the um, ribbon, so i got to be a little skimpy on that because, like I said, I didn't leave too much. I should have cut it a little bit longer, but this will work. This will work. All right, so a little bit of tape on this side and press that. There we go. And I think I kind of like it like this. So, I kind of like it not so centered. I like it a little bit off center. I just think it looks better like that. All right, so we're going to do that. And just this was that bow method that I showed you where you just slide in the extra. These are two pieces you just slide in that. If you're not familiar with that, go ahead and um, look at my other videos that I have, and it will show you how to make that bow. So, I've got this paper that I got here. And this just came in a pad of a whole bunch of different colors. And what I want to do is take this stamp. This is a Hero Art stamp. And we're just going to use this Kaleidacolor Blue Breeze. And I'm going to use it on, there's a lighter side and a darker side. So I'm going to use it on the lighter side. Just because there's lighter colors in this cardstock here. So let's ink this up. Let's see here. That looks pretty good. And we'll press that down here. Make sure I get a good solid image. All right, a little on the light side, but that'll work. That will work. All right, so let's go ahead, trim this up here with the trimmer. Let's go on this edge here. There we go. Oops, sorry guys, I just bumped the camera. There we go. Okay, maybe trim this up just a little bit more here. All right, so now we're going to get some double stick tape and double stick tape the back of this here. Get a nice little green edge. I got this cardstock also from the same pack. There was just a bunch of um, rectangle cards. Actually, let's cut it this way so I don't waste all that paper. So a bunch of rectangle cards and some really cool colors. So anyway, no, nothing in particular from any brand. I actually got it at a garage sale and I thought it was pretty cute. So let's see about exactly where do I want to put this little guy here. Hmm, that ribbon. Maybe we'll put it like so. Okay. And I have a really, well, what I thought was a cute idea. Who knows, right? But I think it's a cute idea. So we'll take this and I'm going to cut this directly into a square. So I'm just going to cut a really small square here and then adhere it to this and then another really small square. I'm just kind of trying to do a really lots of layered card. So let's trim up this here and trim this one over here. Alrighty. Okay, and now what we're going to do, we're going to take one of these little guys here. I have this little gem, and I thought that would be really cute to add one of these little zots. And add a little gem over here. And we're going to put the gem just right in the center, like so. Then we're going to get some fa um, foam tape here. And cut that. Put this on the back of this little guy peel it off and I thought it'd be really cute to add it to this. I kind of want to just add it 
so that's layered here. And then I'm going to add some foam mounting tape to this as well. So we'll cut a couple pieces here of the foam mounting tape. There we go. Maybe one here and one here. And just peel off the backing. There we go. And one more here. And then we'll put it on the card. And then I got a cute little saying too that I thought would go well. So we'll kind of put it like that, a little bit up in the corner. I kind of like the layered and little raised look that we're going for here. Just a little something different, a little different layout. And then we need a little saying down here. So I found this little saying and I liked it. This is from Stampin' Up! and it says hello. So we'll take the, I think I'm going to take the brown. I kind of wanted to do different colors here. So let's take ink up the brown here. Put the brown right there. Hello. And then we'll trim this out. So let's trim it here so we're not wasting too much paper. And trim it right here. Alrighty, I think I'm going to trim a little bit more of this only because I have um, this other that I want to put it on that darker green color that I have. And I just want to add that to it. So, yeah, I like that better. I'll get trimmed up a little bit more so that we can add it to this. So let me do a little double stick tape here. We'll add it to that. And then we're going to add it here. Keep a little edge on there so you don't have to cut as many cuts. And we'll do it right here. Trim up that edge. Flip it around and trim up this little edge. Get a little bit of foam mounting tape. So let's get a little bit of foam here. Trim this up. And let's see here. Take this little foam mounting tape. That's my doggy again. I have a really cute little Weimar writer. His name is Odin. Alright, so let's take this here and add the hello. Alright guys, so that's our finished card. And let me get everything out of the way so you can actually see a nice picture of it here. There we go. And zoom in a little so you guys can really see this now. Alright guys, so there's the finished product. I hope you like it. Have a great day everybody. Bye-bye.